So it is day seven of Makeup Mayhem and today I'm going to be showing you more products I regret buying. I did a video like this almost two years ago so I figured it's probably time that I do another one and I've been getting a lot of requests to do this and now I feel like I have a good little group of products here to show you guys. I don't have too many because number one I sometimes throw out products just automatically when I'm cleaning out my bathroom and if I see something that I haven't liked and I'm not using I'll just toss it or give it away to a friend and I didn't really think about keeping it for a video like this and then also um, I tend to do a lot of research on products before I buy them or I get recommended products from friends so usually I know that I'm going to like a product going into the buying process so I end up loving most of the stuff that I have but I do have this little group here and it's not like I hate these products, they just didn't work for me. I think it's really interesting to see how one product can work really well for one person and then not work out at all for another person. And I just kind of like seeing the other side of things. So that's why I really love videos like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the stuff that I have here. I have two products from Aveeno and I really, really love Aveeno but I just don't like these two products. I kind of went on a little Aveeno spree at Target. Uh, I can't remember when it was, maybe a, a few months back, a couple months back, and I wanted to try out a bunch of things from Aveeno, and I just don't like these two things. This is the Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, and I'm not a huge fan of this just because I like more abrasive exfoliators. I don't like them to be too rough, but this is very, 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 very gentle. Like, I couldn't even really tell that there were exfoliating beads in here. So I like things that are going to be a little bit more exfoliating. And I feel like this just didn't exfoliate my skin at all. And then this brightening cleanser. This is also from the Positively Radiant line. I don't know. I just I just didn't like this. I, I didn't like how it lathered up because it didn't really lather up at all and I really just like the foaming cleanser a lot so I feel like nothing can really compare to that in my mind so I had already loved the foaming cleanser from Aveeno so then trying this afterwards it just could not compare and it just didn't work out for me so these are two things that I don't really care for then as far as hair goes I have a couple items the first one is the Aussie heat protecting shine spray and the reason why I bought this was because Target was sold out of the Tresemme heat tamer spray a while back and so I really needed a heat protectant so I just got this one and I don't like it because it I feel like it just made my hair really sticky and stiff and I do not like how it sprays it sprays like a squirt bottle like I will spray it right now and I don't know if you guys could see that but I'm like spraying my wall but it sprays like a squirt gun so I was just not used to that and I feel like it would just get one patch of my hair really really wet and I I, I just didn't really care for it because also the heat tamer spray is amazing and it sprays a really fine even mist so you don't end up with like wet patches in your hair and it's not sticky and that's probably why it was sold out because it's like the best heat protectant I've ever tried so wasn't a huge fan of the Aussie one. My other hair product is from Lush and I normally love everything that I get from Lush and I actually don't really dislike this one too much. I actually really like how this makes my hair feel, but I just don't like the process of using it because if you guys can see this, it's very, very chunky. And when I lather it up in my hand, like the pieces just come out and it's really scratchy on my hand and I don't like that. It's really, really rough and it's just not my favorite solid shampoo bar. I really, really love the Scenic. Uh, solid shampoo and the Godiva one so it's like the blue one and the yellow one those are amazing and they're really smooth they don't scratch up your hand and they both work really well and I love how this one smells too I love how it smells I love how it feels in my hair but I just don't like having to lather it up because all the pieces get everywhere and it's just so rough and scratchy so I wish this wasn't so chunky otherwise I would like love it and then I actually have another product here from Lush this is creme anglaise 
And this is another one of those products that I'm really torn with because I actually really love how this feels on my skin. It makes it super, super soft and it's very moisturizing. This is like the most luxurious moisturizer that uh, Lush makes. It's a hand and body lotion and this is what it looks like but it's nothing special, it's just a creamy color. But my only issue with it is the smell. Like just opening it and holding it right here, it smells so strongly of baby powder and it's just overwhelming. And I love using this after a shower at night because it makes my skin really soft, but the scent just sticks to you. Like 24 hours later, it's like you just put it on and I don't really care for strong baby powder scents so that's why I am not going to repurchase this. I will finish this up and I will finish up this shampoo bar, but I'm not going to be repurchasing either of these products just because of the little issues that I have with them. So getting into makeup, I have a few makeup items. This one is something that I've actually talked about before. This is the MAC Feline Eye Coal. And this is an amazing eyeliner, actually. It's very, very black and very smooth and super pigmented, but it smudges like crazy on me. Like, almost immediately, I'll just end up with panda eyes, like, within the hour. So, this is something that I just cannot get away with wearing, and I'm really sad about it because I love how black it is, I love how smooth it is, but it just doesn't work for me and it makes me really, really sad. And then another thing that I actually, I like the color, but on me it just doesn't look good, but I can't open it up. This is Stila Cloud eyeshadow and I love how it looks in the packaging, but on me it's a little bit too silvery. Like I thought this was going to be more on the taupe side, but it just looks too silvery on my skin. And I don't really like wearing super silvery colors. Like if it's a purple silver, then I'm okay with it. But this is just, I don't know, it just doesn't complement my skin tone very well. But these eyeshadows are so velvety and so soft and they're very, very pigmented. So the eyeshadow itself is really nice, but this color just doesn't work for me. But I do like Stila Kitten. Stila Kitten is definitely one of my favorites as I hold up my like gross raggedy tissue here. <laughs> so I actually have another eyeliner here and I saved the packaging for this because after I used this for the first time I knew I did not like it and I actually dug through my trash and pulled out the packaging because the product itself doesn't have the name on it so I needed to remember the name because I knew I would be saving it for a video like this so I dug through the trash and recovered the packaging but this is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Brush Tip Liquid Liner. So that is what the packaging looks like. And this is the product. And it's actually, I don't know, this isn't like a terrible product, but it just doesn't work for me. Like you get a nice black line out of it, but it's just not precise enough for me because I'm so used to using the Dolly Wink and Super Quick liners and those are so precise and you really have a lot of control. You can get a really thin line or you can get a thick line and with this one I feel like I can't control it and it just bleeds and it just doesn't work out for me. So this is something that immediately the first time I used it I didn't even wear it on my eyes. I had to take it off because it started to bleed like in the little crevices in my skin like up into my eyelid and I was like oh my gosh this is just not gonna work out for me and then my last products to show you guys are these two nail polishes now for the most part I love the nail polish that I have mostly because when I buy nail polish I'm there in person and I can see what it looks like in the bottle and usually what you see in the bottle is what you get when you put it on your nails but I was really disappointed with these two nail polishes is especially this one. This is Deborah Lippman Yellow Brick Road and I was so excited for this color when it came out because this is when yellows just started to become popular and I really wanted a bright, happy, sunshiny yellow color and I thought this was going to be the perfect yellow. So I bought this nail polish really, really excited and when I put it on my nails, I was just so disappointed because it is like completely sheer. Like so sheer. I'll put it on top of my nail polish right now and you can't even see it. 
Like, I can't even see it. It just is like a yellow gel. It's just not what I wanted it to be, especially because when you see it in the bottle, it just looks so happy and yellow, and then when you put it on your nails, it just looks yucky. So I feel like when you put it on your plain nails, it kind of just makes your nails look yellow and not in a good way. It's not like a bright, happy yellow. It's like they're stained yellow. So I'm really sad that I didn't like this nail polish because it looks so pretty in the bottle. And then the other one that I have here is China Glaze Mrs. Claus. This is another one that I was really excited for because I wanted a sparkly, glittery red color. But when I put this on my nails, it actually looks more pink. I really like Ring in the Red though, which is what I wanted this polish to look like. So I have Ring in the Red and I love that one, but I'm not a huge fan of Mrs. Claus just because I wanted a red nail polish and this looks pink to me. So that is going to be it for today and I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!